Hello. So, I have these two coils. This one's 3 to 1 turns. This is 9.1 volts. My signal is kind of stable. This is... Mm, this is the gate. This is the voltage on the collector. So this is the feedback. This is uh, times 10, let's say 20 volts. This is times 10. And yeah, hold on. Everything is exactly the same. It'll be 9.5 volts, except this coil is only one to one turns. And turn on power. I get a nice spice here. at a pretty high frequency, and this is my output. Maybe clean that up some. Okay, so I've stabilized this to be just this false. This is t times 10, this is 40 volts. This is times 10, that's 2 volts and 40, sorry, and my normal coil. And I'm going to hook up the other one. Okay, so just having changed the coil, I now only have 20 volts, 10 volts. So this is the same three turn coil. I get a similar spike out. This is about the same length of wire between this and the other one and this one. Put the coil back and I have a much more significant spike for the same amount of wire. Slightly different geometry. This is a pancake coil. <clears throat> this is slightly higher. Um, it only went up to about 20. Sorry. Well, it only went up to about 20 before. And if I put a ferret core through the center of that, it even goes up higher. And uh, that's some voltage. back to single core but one double the windings but one's clockwise and one's counterclockwise. And this is double the windings but in the same direction and I think that that's slightly lower than what we just saw. And this is three times the windings at um, two clockwise one counterclockwise.